Well, it's that time again, folks. It's time for your favourite classic RTS series to get twisted and mangled into a horrific microtransaction filled monstrosity that you can play anytime, anywhere. Yes, Command & Conquer Legions is here, and it's available to download... M maybe? Okay, I know it's really early in the video to get into a tangent like this, but it's so fucking bizarre I just have to talk about it. Because I have absolutely no idea what is happening with this game. It released into beta in select countries in around the middle of last year, but only on Android. And then it was also stated to be releasing in iOS and Android in full sometime this year, in 2024. But the thing is, I never heard anything about its release, and I still can't download it on my iPhone. I can, however, download it on the Google Play Store, and I'm pretty sure it's the full version, it doesn't say it's a test or anything, but only certain links work. Sometimes the game is just unavailable, and sometimes there's a big download button. Now, I don't have an Android phone right now, so I downloaded it through Bluestacks on PC, and yeah, it worked fine. So it's clearly available in some capacity, but then why is their Discord link dead? Why was the last update on the official website six months ago? But their one and a half thousand follower Facebook page is posting regular updates that look like they're written by a mid 30s suburban housewife using random emojis and incorrect grammar. Why did they post this in January, saying that you could test the game on iOS despite the link not even working? And why in the hell did they post a month ago asking for feedback from players when most people can't even download the game? This whole thing is so weird. What the hell is going on here? I just, I cannot explain it. But what I can explain is how hilariously shit this game is. So strap in, because this video is about to get a whole lot worse. Well, the video is going to be good. The game's worse. Whatever. Let's go. Command & Conquer Legions is set in a vague CNC timeline sometime after the Third Tiberium War, where the Cabal, I'm pretty sure it's just Cabal, but okay, launches another assault on humanity with their cyborg army. Sure, okay. Despite their long-standing conflict, the Nod, pretty sure it's just Nod, and the GDI, that one's fine, are compelled to unite once again. Sure, okay, Third Tiberium War, Nod, GDI, Cabal, fine, alright. So why is there a King Oni mech from Red Alert 3 in the mech factory? Why does the app icon have a fucking Kirov airship from Red Alert 2 on it? Why are there characters from Renegade in the game that should be like 80 years old or dead at this point? Okay, relax, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let's just pretend that this is some alternate universe where anything goes, anything happens, and there are no rules. So let's get into the visuals. Actually, let's not. This game looks like fucking shit. The UI is horrible, the effects are just weak, the buildings are either boring as hell, or just literally lifted and shifted from CNC3. Like, I think this is the actual model and animation just dropped into whatever this engine is. I think the only positive thing I can say on these are the unit models and the preview screens look pretty good. Yeah, these are nice. But why is there a Mastodon in the Third Tiberium War? <laughs> and yeah, I guess the character models are okay too. There's a lot of them, and their designs are kind of unique. Though some do exhibit some strange physics. Hmm. On characters, while we're here, this is just a really bizarre roster. These are your hero units that you can deploy in battle, and I just don't quite understand why they've chosen these particular characters. It's like they just spun a wheel and chose whatever the wheel said. I mean, Kane isn't even here, which is just dumb from a marketing perspective. There's no Anton Slavic, no Solomon, no Nick Parker, despite the rest of Dead Six being here. But then there's fucking Christos? You added Oksana Christos, the news anchor from Tiberian Sun, before Kane? What are you guys doing? Seriously, I half expect the next update to include fucking Lillian Parker as a playable character. I almost wish they did just to hear what the voice acting would be like, because, wow, the standard for voice acting in Legions is hilariously awful. It's like they just pulled people off the street, made them write their own lines at gunpoint, and then just said, yep, that was great, after one take. Luna Wilson, requesting permission to engage, Commander. Commander, more cyborgs are approaching our base. Fixing things? I'm better than men. Now, look at what we're up against. Time is for wandering, 
and souls are for dancing. Alright, I guess we better talk about playing this disaster. So yeah, this is a mobile only game, but don't think because of that fact I wouldn't give Legions a fair shot, because I absolutely would. Channel OGs may remember my video on Command & Conquer Rivals, a game that got absolutely shredded and hated on pre-release, that in my opinion turned out to be a pretty great game as far as Command & Conquer on your phone goes. I'll die in that hill and that video is still up if you want to go watch it. There's a link in the description. But this is not that. Command & Conquer Legions is shit. It's awful. It has no redeeming qualities. This is microtransaction hell. It's a gameplay black hole and an absolute waste of your time. Yeah, put that on the box. I haven't played many mobile-only strategy games, but from what I can gather, this is a pretty standard mechanical and gameplay setup. You expand your base in this kind of overworld, building new structures, conducting research, and leveling up your buildings. Then you fight real-time battles with troops and heroes that you can train and upgrade from said base. There is nothing inherently wrong with that kind of gameplay, but it's all the bullshit surrounding it that makes Legions truly dreadful. And I do mean bullshit, there is so much mud to wade through that you just can't wait to buy that next booster or upgrade to skip all these fucking menus! There's at least half a dozen resources, probably more, units and buildings need multiple different things to be fulfilled in order to be upgraded, there are numbers upon numbers of levels, points and stockpiles, it is just overwhelming. By design, of course, it's all meant to get you into the shop. And I mean look at this thing, it's obscene, this is obnoxious, I'm embarrassed just looking at it. This is all stuff you can buy, I've never seen an in-game store to be so bloated with ways to hand over your cash. And even then, with a game built around microtransactions, they couldn't even get the loot boxes right, opening them sucks. It might be the least exciting loot box experience ever. Like, come on, at least give me some dopamine, Jesus. And as you'd expect, Legions does the classic mobile game thing where it loads you up with resources and rewards to begin with to get you invested, then rips them away in the hopes that you'll open your wallet. But I've never seen it be as egregious as this. Fuck me, even Raid was better than this. I probably put 10 hours into that back in the day and I still didn't really feel like I was needing to grind or spend. But even just 2 hours of Legions, and I was hitting timers for 2, 3, 4, 5 hours that I didn't have the resources to speed up. And you know that they wanted to get me into the shop to skip that. Outside of the pain that is building and upgrading your base, Legions has its combat element. I didn't do any PvP because, well, I'm not a masochist, but if it's anything like PvE, which I'm pretty sure it is, then I was right not to. Essentially, you select an enemy force somewhere around your base, press the attack button, and let your selected group of troops attack until one side wins. Your armies are led by one of those heroes that we talked about earlier, who have their own upgrade trees that get obscenely expensive exceedingly fast. And yeah, then they fight. Don't ask why you can only build GDI troops but have them be led by Nod characters, just don't think about it, this is bad enough as it is. One other thing I need to mention here is this mech minigame that they have. Okay, this fucking game, Jesus Christ. So you choose a mech, right? which admittedly does look kind of cool in the selection screen. And then you fight unending waves of enemies in a twin stick style horde mode until you die, I think, or at least I've never made it far enough to win. Anyway, you get upgrades as you level up, but your mech is essentially autonomous except for movement, so it doesn't actually get any harder at all. There are more enemies, yeah, but your mech is just getting more powerful constantly. So it just doesn't really change, you just have to dodge more guys and by the end you're just running through them anyway. And it's even more boring when you realise that you can just sit here and do nothing for quite a while until more powerful enemies show up. You just let the mech mow them down. So yeah, that's fun. Just this fucking screen of hundreds of cabal cyborg dogs sprinting into this vaguely Tiberian sun looking mech getting chewed through by rockets and falling bombs is just ridiculous, it makes me laugh a lot. 
Okay, that's enough of this game. It's terrible. Don't play it, even if you're morbidly curious. It is simply not worth it. If you want a good CNC mobile game, go try Rivals. It is unironically fun, and it actually makes sense to be playing that game on a phone. They really did think about it. I'll never forget what happened to that game. And yeah, I mean, it's got some bullshit of its own, but it's nothing like what you're being served up here. So thanks very much for watching. Support me on Patreon or YouTube if you like what I do here, because this video is probably getting demonetized because of all the swearing. See you next time.